Okay, this is a quick run through on the electronics and making in the harnesses and everything. So this is basically what I do. Well, first things first, when I do run the LEDs uh, through the arms and the power feeds, I do have a bit of con or I use a bit of shrink wrap for conduit right where the screws are. Just when you're running screws in and out later on, just so you know it pushes it off to the side and doesn't get them frayed. So I just I forgot that in the last one, but that's basically what I do for that. Okay, when it comes to the harness, this is the connector you get for the uh, NAS, and we'll have like eight leads coming out of it, and it's just too much. You only need five. So this is basically what I do. There's the NAS there, there's the connector. So you'll need the negative positive, you'll need the throttle aileron elevator rudder, and you'll need the fifth one for arm. And if your sport's fine, you definitely want to arm it. So this is what I do. I uh, disconnect all the things, and I just take the connector. Um, I take two servo leads and I uh, take them all out and this is how it goes. Use those leads into the connectors, so that's your negative, your positive and your throttle. And this servo lead will be your aileron, elevator and rudder. And then this servo lead will be for army. And another thing is, these are 10 centimeter leads, this is 15 centimeter leads. 10 centimeter leads are uh, very short. I mean, you only get the receiver out this far and it becomes quite problematic. The 15s are better. It gives you a little bit more play so you can uh, just have a little bit more room for playing with your uh, receiver. So this is basically how it works out. So on an AR6115E, this is, uh, that's my telemetry. Uh, that's my throttle. Uh, that's why I want to make sure you make sure that the wires are like the aileron and throttle the same because you know they match up. Uh, so that's aileron, elevator, rudder. Uh, that's my strobe, and then that's my army. And then uh, what I also do is I, when all the lines come up, I brad, put the orange braided hose on, and I shrink wrap. Uh, same with my speed controllers. I put the orange braided hose on, and I shrink wrap, and I just leave a little bit extra shrink wrap on the end there so it's a nice tight seal. Uh, and there's my telemetry too. Uh, basically, another thing I do with the NAS controller is uh, I only put four header pins in. And I don't put the power pins in for the four headers. I only put, or for three of them, I only put it in for the throttle. As you can see there, I don't cut the wires on my speed controllers. It's just a pain. It's easier to do it this way. And... Uh, one other thing is is uh, when you do do your power lead, leave your positive lead, uh, you know, like a quarter inch longer. It'll give you that natural curve. And when you put your shrink wrap on your bullets, what I do is I always put it like halfway across over the connector. And then I don't heat this part up. So when it does go on, it gives you a nice quarter inch boot. Don't have to worry about anything there. Oops. And also... I do use rubber washers to stand off my NAS. And that's basically uh, how it goes in. NAS controller goes like that. There we go. Let's plug in. You can see a nice fit there with that extra boot. Controller. My strobe goes there. And then the top goes on. And there you have it. This is the finished product. Oh yeah, I put the right angle headers on my NAS. I don't get the regular ones either. And that's the finished product, how nice and clean it is. Another thing I do is, oh yeah, the trick to the braided hose is uh, straw. When you first cut it, just run a ladder along it to, you know, like to melt it a bit so it doesn't fray. Then get a straw, heat it up, round off the end. And then when it comes time to put your wires through, just spin the straw, stick it through, stick your wires through, you're done. And another thing I do is with my batteries, I tape them up. I just got sick and tired of always making sure the balance lead was like, you know, not getting wrecked. So I put a JST saver on them. And then I just tape them to the battery. It's great because when it comes time to test and everything, you don't need three arms. When it comes time to charging, you're good to go. So that's basically, uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else. 
And uh, oh, these things fly great. And then that's how I do my uh, NAS setup, my Warthox frame.